Kano from Kato Fishing World. On today's Kato Tackle Talk, I'll be talking you through dew techniques and uh, what type of lures I use and what sort of areas I'd like to target them in, especially in these rivers. Um, the type of lures I, I like to use are either Vibers. This is a Ratlin Rapier. It's a hard, hard body fiber that's got a nice technique. It, it actually kicks around nice and nice and well plus a nice colour. So I usually stick natural, so that's sort of like a mullet sort of, or a tailor colour. Uh, if I'm fishing night time, your Samaki white divers, usually in the twin tails. These are about 20 grams and 30 grams that you can get them in. Usually white seems to work the best for night time or through the day, anything like um, motor oil, this thing works pretty well. Um, your Zeric paddle tails, you cast them out next to your pylons or your drop-offs, let it slowly sink. This way, this has a uh, weedless hook as well, so you can cast them right up into the shallows or in, into your deeper drop-offs and let it work off. Or same in your soft plastics. This is the zoom bait. Um, white colour as well, I use this predominantly through the night. Or if I'm going trolling or casting off the rocks, something like a cutting edge lure. This thing's good for trolling, trolling around. It's made for dewy, it's got a huge rattle, you can hear that. Or what I've got on my rod at the moment that I've been casting around is the other Samaki. It's a twin tail, 20 gram chartreuse, I think this is I called. Retrieve with a small vibe. My first dewy on a lure. Yeah. So there you go, the techniques do work. Doesn't matter what lure that you're using, but as long as you keep it slow, the dewy seem to take it. You're nice and slow. I was on the drop as well. There you go. See you, buddy. See you, mate. There you guys. So what you're really looking for in what sort of areas is if you're fishing land base or off the rock walls. Um, out here in Stockton Harbour we've got a giant big break wall going off of Stockton and then right next to it there's a tiny break wall and there's a huge cove of full of weed, full of um, uh, bait, tailor, everything like that, herring. Um, then off the side of it, you've got a river. So as the tide starts running out, all that bait that's in that cove and sheltering in all gets pushed off. So it creates sort of like a, an eddy off that little break wall. So great place to be able to sit and cast, cast for lures, cast your live bait out and sit for dewy. Um, if I'm in the river systems, right now we've got, right behind me there's poly pylons and um, all these baits sheltered in, be, in behind the, all these pylons. As the tide starts coming out, all that bait starts getting pushed out. So in behind here, there's a nice drop off, so it's like 20 and 30 feet. And all your predatory fish, like um, big flathead, two fish, even sometimes um, salmon will come in here as well during the salmon run. So great place to actually come and sit and fish this whole, whole area behind me. And plus you've got a storm runoff drain over on the other side. So after rain, all that storm water pushes through, everything that's stuck in there, like any crabs or anything, gets pushed out. So usually find some big, bait, uh, big fish hanging off that. So usually I like to um, go up and fish the tide coming back out. So there's a big gutter running off all these pylons behind me, so I'll fish that whole gutter and then I'll come into this, this cove here and, and fish that, just trying to pick up all the, all the big um, dewfish hanging off it. So I'll run you through a couple of techniques that I use on these Samaki Vibers. Now, these, these techniques you use for uh, soft plastics as well, so it's the same, same style. So cast out as close as you can to all the structure. Let it fully hit the ground. It'll take a little bit. It's 24 feet. Hit the 
ground now, so all it is is just a nice slow leaf so you can feel the vibration going through the rod itself. I'm using a Lux uh, blade at the moment, this is a generation 2, it's made for this sort of fishing. It's a 7 kilo rod so you can land some big, big dewy off it. And if you want to, it's just a nice slow tap like that. Because jewfish will sit there and they'll look at the bait for a while before they actually strike it. So the longer you leave it sitting down there and slower the lift, the more chance they've got to look at it. Plus the great thing about using these things, the biggest um, benefit is the bycatch. You can catch big flatties, um, big tailor salmon, even the occasional kingfish on depending on whether you've got kingfish around your area. So, usually on the soft fibres, it doesn't hurt to put a bit of scent on as well. So, a couple I like to use is just Procure Mullet or S-Factor. It's a good all-arounder. You can mix it together as well and put it on. Um, always, always helps having a bit of scent on because uh, Worst case scenario, it's just covering your your scent on that lure. So, a bit of fish scent helps on everything. So, chuck it on your hard bodies, your soft plastics, your trolling lures. So, that big lure, I'll chuck a bit on that just to cover my scent and just to give it a bit more attraction. So, while it's sitting down on the ground, the fish is looking at it, he's smelling all the, smelling all the scent, seeing that vibration, and hopefully it'll hook you a fish. So we switched out the uh, boat and went into the kayak and had some fun out of the kayak chasing jewfish today. We fished out of uh, Brisbane water, so we even changed the location. Uh, as you've seen, some of the things that we landed today were some big female flathead and some tailor and even a jewfish. Unfortunately, it wasn't me that landed the jewfish, but that's part and parcel of chasing the silver gas. So the things that worked great for us today were the boom baits, the Samaki boom baits which is these guys and the rat one rapier is what I caught all the female flathead on and some of the smarky vibes that was going off at the start of the day but as we came into the shallower waters it was a bit too heavy for, for that sort of thing so I ended up changing to the Zeric, Zeric paddle tail so that you can change the weight to, let it sink slower. But be careful with the chopper tailor because they will take the tails off and destroy, destroy your deer lure. So if you have any questions about today or, or chasing jewfish, hit us up in the comments in the link below. And to find any of these lures, check out our Mo Tackle online because that's where I find all my great jewfish lures. Thanks guys.